Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shagnik Datta. I'm an MBBS student at Burdwan Medical College and Hospital, West Bengal. In this video, I'm gonna talk about every single resource that you would need for your second year of MBBS. It is just recently that you might have actually passed your first MBBS exam and you are into your second year now. And you must be very much worried about what to read and what not to read. What are the different resources that you should refer to? What are the different books that you can use? And what are the different video resources that you should refer to? In this video, we'll cover every bit of that. Now, second year of MBBS is very sorted because you have got some definite books to refer to. There are not multiple books which you get confused about. Some single one or two books for each subject and that will do the job. And even the video resources are limited for second year and they are the best available in the market. Now, let us first start with the discussion about books. Now, in second year of medical college, there are a total of three subjects, pharmacology, microbiology and pathology. Apart from these three subjects, there are two other subjects which are usually taught in different medical colleges in India. Those are preventive and social medicine, which is also known as community medicine. And second is forensic medicine and toxicology. Now, these two subjects are not being tested in your second year. That means uh, like the final exam for these two subjects will be given in your third year of MBBS. But the rest three, that is pharmacology, pathology and microbiology, will be covering in your second year of MBBS itself and will be actually giving the exam for these three subjects. So let us start our discussion first with these three subjects. Now for pharmacology, the gold standard books, the international author books, Goodman and Gilman and secondly is Katzung. But the problem with these books are, these are no doubt very good books with great mechanisms, great languages and everything. But the problem is that sometimes the drugs referred to in these books are not at par with the Indian standards. So to keep up with the Indian standard, you should actually refer to a gold standard book for the Indian market that is KD Tripathi. And it is this book, The Essentials of Medical Pharmacology by Dr. KD Tripathi, which is like a gold standard book for your second year of MBBS pharmacology. You should read this book for in its entirety for every exam that you should be seating for. Secondly, the book that you can actually refer to is by Shan Bagh. This is just an exam preparatory material. Everything is very crisp, made into charts, which will be very much useful for you to refer to during your MBBS exams. Apart from these two books, that is KD Tripathi and Shanbag, you can refer to the review book of pharmacology by Dr. Govind Rai Garg sir. And that book in its entirety is great material for your revision, not only for your MBBS professional exams, but also for your NEET PG exams. Now, coming to the next subject, that is pathology. Pathology is a very interesting subject and you should all deal with it in a very minute way because pathology actually paves your way towards medicine. You get to know about different kinds of diseases, their pathological basis, and that is what makes this subject very interesting. Now, the first and foremost book that you should all refer to in pathology is the gold standard book by Robbins and Cotran. This is the book called as Pathologic Basis of Disease by Robbins and Cotran. This turns out to be the gold standard book for pathology. You should read every line of it because this at the end of the day would make you a better clinician. It has got some good pictures and the language in it unlike any other gold standard book is not so difficult. You can always easily read Robbins and Cotran and you would actually find interest in studying pathology and you would get an exposure towards medicine. Now, in second year of medical college, once you go to your clinical classes, that is, we are all given some clinical postings in second year of MBBS, you would find that the teachers there are more interested in teaching you pathology than 
teaching you the subject in particular we get very excited once we go to medicine or surgery and get to try to know about the surgical and medicinal basis of the disease but the thing is the basic thing is actually defined by pathology so uh, for example once you go to your medicine classes you would find patients of liver cirrhosis the teacher would actually explain you the pathologic basis of the liver cirrhosis disease what are the different changes that are seen in the liver of the patient of a liver cirrhosis patient now that is why pathology becomes so very important and robins in turn makes it even more easier and interesting for you to understand the pathology of the diseases now because this is a gold standard book it has got extraordinary amount of informations we always need a book which is going to be handy for us and that book is the book written by dr harsh mohan and that is this book called as the textbook of pathology by harsh mohan this book would actually serve as the exam preparatory material this book looks heavier than robins but this book is actually easier than robins and has got all the necessary informations which you can actually refer to before your exams so you can consider buying this book as well moreover once you actually start reading your systemic pathology you would find that at times you need to know some easier languages and that is when hershman comes to play the same thing once you read from robins if you did it from hershman your concepts get even clarified now the next subject that is microbiology now microbiology is a subject which i personally dread about because this is something which i don't like much but microbiology is very clinically relevant and important once you get to know about dermatology in your final year of mbbs you would actually find a relevance of this subject microbiology microbiology basically deals with different kinds of microorganisms and what are the things that they cause and what are the different kinds of life cycle they have this is what makes it even important as a clinician because this actually deals with the causative organism pathology was teaching us the pathological basis of the different diseases and microbiology in itself is studying the different kinds of organisms causing various diseases now talking about microbiology the basic book and the gold standard book as well is dr apurva shastri's book and this is this book called as the essentials of medical microbiology by dr apurva shastri now one thing i want to clarify about microbiology is like before 2019 microbiology was taught organisms wise like people used to teach us about bacteria then about viruses then about parasites then about funguses that is people used to teach us bacteriology virology parasitology and etc but from 2019 onwards it has been uh, by prescribed by the nmc that we need to teach it as system wise that is we need to know everything about git we need to know everything about cvs and that is what makes the curriculum different but you can proceed any way whatsoever you might find it useful and you turn up at the same place i personally feel that studying it organism wise is much more helpful than studying it systemic wise because once you study for example if you take up bacteriology you would know the general characteristics of bacteria you would then study different bacteria the different tests pertaining to them and in its entirety you will be completing different kinds of bacteria then you move on to virology then you move on to parasitology so that becomes very easy but once you go system wise for example the git you would find a different bacteria is affecting the git you would find different viruses affecting the git you would find different parasites affecting the git at the same time you would find different funguses affecting the git and that is when it makes it difficult what are the tests that are being done for bacteria what are the tests that is done for viruses all gets confused overall so you can actually move forward with organisms and apurva shastri the book in itself is great because it's very sorted it's very well organized documented and it is divided into different headings and subheadings 
and that is what makes this book special now apart from apurva shasti you would always need another book and that is panikar but you apurva shastri and panikar are almost at the same level so you can refer to only a single book i would prefer apurva shastri now for parasitology in specific you can always refer to this book called as medical parasitology by dr arora this book only deals with parasites the pictures given in this book about parasites are great the life cycles are well explained so you can always refer to this book in particular for parasitology that is medical parasitology by dr arora now talking about the next two subjects that is forensic medicine and toxicology and preventive and social medicine for forensic medicine and toxicology the gold standard book and the most important book is the essentials of forensic medicine and toxicology by dr narayan reddy now this book is very great but the the only disadvantage about this book which i personally dislike is it has got very few images so it doesn't make the subject as interesting as the subject in itself is so you can always refer to different resources different uh different videos and everything for different kinds of images but this book is great the informations are great the language is great you would always find this subject interesting only reading its language apart from this book there are other writers like biswas and else which you can always refer to but because this is not a third year subject in particular you just buy a gold standard book and you can refer to now coming to the next subject and the last one is preventive and social medicine that is this book by dr k park now this is the only book and the only gold standard book which every other indian student refers to you should always refer to reading this book this book might look hefty but this book is the best book available in the market now because this is not the main subject for your second year of mbbs you can refer to dr vivek jain sir's book of psm that is also great and handy and would be of much help in your second year of mbbs now with this we come to an end about the discussion of the books now let us talk about the video resources now in this video resources part i would like to talk about the teachers whom i refer to now before i actually start discussing about them i would like to say that no teacher is inferior no teacher is superior and every teacher teaches in their best possible way i would like to talk about how i resonate with them how the teachers whom i am talking about makes a difference first and foremost if i talk about pharmacology it's dr gobind rai garg sir who we popularly know as known as goga sir or grg sir now grg sir is an absolute king of the subject called as pharmacology he makes pharmacology way too easier to understand he uses different kinds of mnemonics different kinds of funny mnemonics to be particular to make us remember about the drugs and subject in particular he also uses a lot of diagrams he also uses a lot of references to make this subject way more easier secondly if we talk about pathology pathology is a subject which you should get hold of in your second year of medical college and for that i personally feel to have a good teacher is an utmost necessity now i have referred to different kinds of video lectures different kinds of teachers and i really found find dr preeti sharma's lectures and dr sparsh gupta's lectures way too helpful and both of them are very interactive they teach in a very interactive way but dr sparsh gupta is a little bit faster now for pathology what i would actually recommend you to first read a book and then go and see a video lecture of any teacher you like because that would make a difference in your understanding of the subject thirdly if we talk about microbiology i personally feel microbiology to be very boring and that is why i would need a very interactive teacher to refer to for microbiology and for that i found dr preeti sharma's lecture very useful so i would also recommend you to see and watch and understand now 
choosing a teacher choosing a video lecture is your utmost choice you should refer to every other teacher every other thing which might help you in your improvement you might refer to different teachers at a different point of time Uh, for example one chapter you like to read from like to read and understand from one particular teacher it might be that the next chapter you find it interesting from other teacher you can feel free to refer to any other teacher whom you feel like referring to the ultimate goal should be clarifying your own concepts about the different topics and different subjects i hope i have made myself clear enough to talk about the different kinds of books that you should need different kinds of videos and teachers whom you should refer to with this i come to an end of this video i hope you found this video helpful if you do please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends whom might find it helpful as well thank you stay well